morning, everyone, viewers out there. You are welcome to the Daily Dynamite, a youth devotional manual of Church of Nigeria. This day, 14th of May, 2023. Let us pray. Gracious Lord, we bless you for this moment and we ask that you make this word a light in our hearts. And as many that will be hearing it, Lord, it will create an impact that will help them stand strong in the test of time. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Once again, you are welcome. Our text is John chapter 16 from verse 23 to 33. John 16 from verse 23 to 33. And I read, And in that day you will ask me nothing. But surely I said to you, Whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. Until now you have not asked nothing, you've asked nothing in my name. Ask, and you will receive, that your joy may be full. These things I have spoken to you in figurative language. But the time is coming when I will speak no longer to you in figurative languages, but I will tell you plainly about the Father. In that day, you will ask in my name, and I will, do, I will not say to you that I will pray to the Father for you, for the Father himself loves you because you have loved me, and I believe that I came forth from God. I came forth from the Father and uh, have come into the world. Again, I will leave the world and go to my Father. His disciples said to him, See now, you are speaking plainly and using no figures of speech. Now we are sure that you know all things. I have no need that anyone should question you by this, we believe that you came forth from God. Jesus answered them, Do you now believe? Indeed, the hour is coming. Yes, it has come. That you will be scattered, each of you, to his own, and will leave me alone. And yet, I am not alone, because the Father is with me. These things I have spoken to you, that in me you will have peace. In the world you will have tribulation. But be of good share, for I have overcome the world. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All right. We are considering the topic. We are considering the topic. Expect it. Expect it. And the anchor verse is verse. The anchor verse is verse 33. And it says, These things I've spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good share, overcome the world. The believers, the youths, the world system have a mindset that is not that is different from what God is actually trying to show. Oftentimes, when we are Christians, we give our life to Christ. We we tend to have the understanding that we are now free from every worries and challenges of life. And because our mind is not prepared for it, whenever it comes, it throws us off balance. And we begin to ask many questions whether God is actually there. But the topic and this morning devotion is expected to prepare our mind for, for it. You know, the topic said, expect it. What are you expecting? Jesus said in verse 33, in me there is peace. That's one part of it. In the world, 
there is tribulation, so if there is tribulation in the world, it is supposed to say it by in, 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 the other way around. We are actually saying, sons, daughters, as you grow out, as you go out, as you step out in your daily activities, because you are not of the world, because your system, the life, the things you are expected to live instead of the world, that you are bound to face challenges. Failures may come. Hunger may come. Nakedness may also come. There are, tears are, is part of it. These things are coming. And the, if you are ready for it, it, is, it then you are, if you are prepared for it, it will not wear you down. But if you are not ready for it, when they come, they destabilize your life. You will begin to ask questions whether God is still there or not. God is still there. The problem is that you are not prepared. You are not waiting. You are not ready for that time to come. Jesus, when he was about living the world, he was preparing his people. He said, expect this, that in the world, there will be tribulation. Expect this, that in the world, there will be challenges. Expect it, that in the world, there will be no much comfort that you are thinking. Because we are sojourners, this place is not actually our home. So, I don't know what you're going through in life. These things are meant to be for you to be well equipped so that you can have a testimony. What is your test? If, the, if you don't go through tests, what is your testimony? None. So if you see yourself failing and then you calculate and the, those things are not as a result of your bad attitude, they are not a result of your unpre- unplanned life, they are not as a result of, 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 your, of your carelessness, but then you see them around you, sons, daughters, it is not time to lose hope yet. Expect it. And when they come, that is a consolation in the Sunday verse. Find yourself in the Lord. If you find yourself in the Lord, then there is peace for you. If you detach yourself from God, when He comes, it destabilizes you. But if you remain focused and remain rooted in the Lord, when He comes, you remain peaceful. Jesus said, he, 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 Surely it will come, but in me, you will have peace. In the world, you have tribulation. How do you balance this two? Remain in God so that when the challenges of the life comes to you, you can find a way to navigate it out because Jesus is the way, is the truth, and is the life. The thought said, persecution are not foreign to Christian life, but a part of it. Tribulations, challenges, difficulties, they are not foreign. They are not strangers to Christian life. They are part of it. And if they are part of it, brace up. Brave up. Stand your ground. Face it. Trust in the Lord. Lean on the Lord. Let your source remain intact. Let your prayer life remain intact. Let your belief remain intact. And when that happens, you are sure that victory is yours. Expect it. Let it not take you on away. Stand waiting for it. When it comes in the Lord, you are more than conquerors. That is the promise of the Father. Let us pray. Lord, guide our steps and teach us, teach our heart patience and trust in our trial times. This is our heart cry through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I hope you are blessed by the word. Join us tomorrow on the Daily Dynamite.